So a while ago, we renovated the displays behind me. One second. That looks a little better. Now we renovated the displays behind me and fit basically all of my Lego Star Wars minifigures on them. Rearranged the bottom, got most of the named characters to show up multiple times onto the top display. LED display from Smiths looks really, really cool. And that's what I'm gonna be going over in today's video. We're gonna look at all the minifigures I do have, how I've arranged them and the ones that I'm missing. I've left gaps for them and I'm hoping to get every single outfit from Star Wars in Lego. A little different to your typical collecting all the figures from the complete saga. I'm seeing someone do that as we record this video and it's really, really cool, but I wanna do something different than just collect everything Lego have made. Go beyond that. Collect what Lego haven't made. There are so many costumes Lego still haven't made today. They've made so many Lego Star Wars minifigures and we don't have a robed Luke and Leia from the end of Return or uh, Empire Strikes Back even. Return of the Jedi would be Lando. We've got a few other minifigures. Like I'm working on creating a Lando disguise from one of the books that probably has a comic version out there, but hasn't even been seen on screen. So I think it's easier if I show you. So these are all the minifigures in this display and I might move the Looney Tunes and the recent Lego CMF and the Spacemen off at some point just to fit a few more of the droids. But we have the Droidica from Rebuild the Galaxy, my whole collection of gonks. This is every gonk Lego I've made minus the printed parts. And then my collection of the four mouse droids Lego have made as well. But here you can see those grouped together in some fashion. We've got the old 2012 figures that have some sort of 2012 S styles. I haven't included the Imperial Astromech over there and there's also a few other older figures that aren't as basic as these ones. We've also got the Clone Wars styles just to the right with all the Clone Wars faces and again R2 does have a special printed receptor unlike Sassy Tin's droid so I've left that one out and now we move to the characters that are seen multiple times for the most part. The Mandalorian does have his crew up there which there's only one of most of them. I guess IG-11 counts because we've got IG-12. We've got our Mandalorians to the right, Din and Boba, Windu and Padme. We move down to our sequel trilogy characters and there aren't many gaps. Ahsoka's got some gaps because I would like to get the official Lego Ahsoka the White, which is more of a gray than a white. It's a light bluish gray and also a Rebels version. We have a Clone Wars version from Towers of the Empire and from Season 7. And then the official Lego Ahsoka from the first wave of sets and then my custom Ahsoka the White. Also Yoda does need a head in the middle, Maul's on a diorama. I think besides that, that row is complete. And then we get into mostly our Lukes and Leia's, but we also have Han, Kenobi and Anakin on top with the Emperor and Lando to the right. We'll start off on the right because we've got a character like Lando. As I mentioned, there is a novel Lando that I am putting together now for a short that will be added on there. And I would like to get a general Lando from the Return of the Jedi and also a younger version. And that will be the six Landos there. The Vaders, Anakins and Palpatines are all on marks. I would like a younger Jedi Knight Anakin and also a clean Revenge of the Sith one because we have the Sith eyes with a burnt up robe. But I'm hoping next year we get a brand new minifigure. On to Kenobi. I think there are a few Kenobis elsewhere as well. So we've got, yes, we've got the Attack of the Clones one that is on a display. Again, Revenge of the Sith. I would like a clean one. I think there's two or three Kenobis from the Kenobi show. And then we also have a slot for a Force Ghost Kenobi. I'm hoping I can find one for relatively cheap. So far, I've only seen the style of the Complete Saga, but that'll be a really cool thing to pick up. Han Solo, there's quite a few Han Solos we're missing. Let's see if I can remember them all. So we've got, I think there's the Brown Jacket Solo. We've also got the Mud Trooper, but not the Muddy Mud Trooper, the regular Mud Trooper minifigure. There's definitely a Han Solo I'm missing out there. In fact, there's two Han Solos. Oh no, the other young Han Solo is Ian from the Lego, I think it was 
Yoda Chronicles or one of the Lego Star Wars specials. Han, he flipped the H to get into, I think it was like the Jedi Academy or something. And that is a minifigure that exists. We move over to Return of the Jedi. So one of these is going to be one that Lego hasn't made. And that's his outfit in Return of the Jedi when he has his brown trousers with his waistcoat, I think it is. It's something like that sort of combination, a mix of the two previous movies. And then we also have another one from Return of the Jedi. Oh, his Endor outfit, of course. We've got Luke and Leia's Endor outfit, but we're gonna need a Han Solo Luke's. I do have them all. The ones that I'm missing are on display. Kind of, because I am actually missing three. So as I mentioned, we do have the robe at the end of Empire Strikes Back, which I don't have an actual minifigure of, so I have to make one of that. Moving on a little bit, we've got the Mandalorian one I do own, the Crate Luke. We definitely need to get a Crate Luke from, I think that would be here, the Crate Luke from when he has a sort of younger style hair with his... I think they might be exclusive robes. They're very similar to Anakin, so I might be able to part one of them out. And also a Force Ghost. I have got my eyes on a Force Ghost Luke Skywalker that I might be picking up sometime soon. So keep your eye out for that. And then we move on to our last minifigure, which is the princess herself, Leia Organa. And there are a load of layers that I don't have. I don't have a Endor Village layer. I don't have a Bespin layer. There are a few layers that have different hairstyles and I would like to get them as separate minifigures because it does feel like a completely different outfit to some of the other ones she wears. I would also love to see a Leia on crate with her grey dress and that hat sort of mask piece she wears but there's no minifigures, it's going to be a very hard one to part out so I haven't left the space for that one but hopefully you can see where I'm heading with these minifigures. I have added the R2-D2 from the Salvage, but I'm still yet to get both an R2-D2 with back printing and C-3PO with that dual molded leg. I've seen for Endor Leia, you can use Legolas's legs from Rivendell, and that's a really good upgrade to give her boots. And it does look a bit more detailed to the actual Endor Leia outfit. So there are a few different upgrades I'm going to make to this display over time. But like I say, this is just the start for the display. So hopefully I can get a load of minifigures up there soon. I will have to really rack my brain to create some of these customs and just hope that Lego have similar pieces out there. The robes for the Empire Strikes Back end scene shouldn't really be a problem. There are a load of robes out there, but it's the other minifigures that I'll have to worry about. So thank you so much for watching this video. There should be an update in a couple of weeks time when I have a few more minifigures. It's going to be slow, it's going to be steady, but as long as we're making some progress. Check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.